this week in indoor football is a lot you know it, it's a lot of stuff that has happened over the past you know week or so we uh, we know what the whole Southern Steam Alabama Empire you know situation is now um, the Empire's owner has denied that there was weed at you know the Southern Steam Alabama Empire game you know you know last Saturday and you know, like it's it's gotta be, it's gotta be something. I don't know what Alabama's doing. Um, the Alabama Empire they have surfaced in another league, the ADAFL, you know, the Adult Developmental Arena Football League, who also has the Kentucky on a Curse, the Knoxville Nightmare, you know, and 13 other teams that you know are in this league and the season is gonna start in August apparently. Um, it, it's a little bit too late for me to be talking about that league because again it says adult developmental arena football league and it's so minor and so obscure but yet it has teams like Knoxville, Kentuckiana and Alabama in it. Um, I personally don't believe this league should be existing. You know this is another one of those leagues that should not be existing. Um, same thing with the NFA. They're looking for teams too. Um, the National Football Association, the NIF, you know they they're looking for teams as well that that's been surfacing over the past few days you know so it is what it is there uh, the reason why this video is on a monday you know is because there was there there was, there was supposed to be a game tonight there is there is one game that was guaranteed tonight and that is omaha and rapid city but there's a second game now tonight Billings Sioux City which is really going to be for first place in the CIF and we'll see how this goes you know tonight uh, Wyoming apparently has become the final team to clinch a playoff spot but I don't think that's a, I don't think that's set in stone yet because again Rapid City has not played and the last week of the regular season is next week uh, next, next Saturday night you know for all eight teams you know so I, I'm not sure if Wyoming has clinched yet. A lot of Wyoming, you know, personnel were like, "Yeah, we've clinched a playoff spot," so I'm just gonna go with it. I personally don't think they have yet, um, you know. But it is what it is. Like, why? apparently, Wyoming is the sixth and final team to clinch a playoff spot, and that apparently them beating Southwest Kansas also put Southwest Kansas in the playoffs. But that that does not matter. Really, the only the only thing left the CIF now is seeding, and you know, Billings Sioux City is going to help that immensely, the seeding process. Um, in the NAL, you know, we got we got something good. Arvell Nelson, the Arena Bowl 31 championship winning quarterback for the Washington Valley, he got signed by Jacksonville, and Jacksonville was able to. Beat the Carolina Cobras this weekend. I uh, know, crazy, right? There's also another, you know, San Antonio Gunslingers, you know, little thing that's been going on. Trey Ivory, who, you know, who was the DC at San Antonio, he got let go. I'm not sure what he, he he's stating his reasons. San Antonio will state their reasons. Uh, our boys over inside the walls will ha probably have more. You know, on this than I do, because uh, as far as I know, you know, inside the arena guys, you know, you know, the inside the arena guys took the ball and just ran with it on this one. Um, I personally don't have any reaction to this. Again, I'm not. I haven't been confident in San Antonio at all. You know, San Antonio looked even worse this week. So you know, maybe, maybe something, maybe some kind of official was there. I'm not sure. Who knows? Who cares? We still got a long season to go um, at DNA. We still got a long season to go. It's you know, just because Carolina is no longer undefeated does not mean the season's over. In the FCF, the playoffs are going to begin next weekend, and unfortunately, Jason Stewart, who yes was also caught smoking weed on the field during the celebration, got cut by the league. Shouldn't be shouldn't be doing that, you know. It's you know, unfortunately in Georgia, it's not illegal yet to be you know smoking some kush. Um, so 
the Sappers, they, you know, they get to go to the playoffs. You know, they, they, the fans screwed over the beast here because it was supposed to be a fumble at the end of this game, and yet they're, the fans didn't say anything. They didn't call, you know, the correct call on the field, which is why you shouldn't be giving the power to the fans in the first place on big calls like this. And then you have Antonio Brown showing up this weekend. You know, there's so many new owners and stuff like that in the FCF for some of these teams. You know, like, like you know, Antonio Brown and FCF, you know, nonsense has been brewing all, you know, all season long. And he actually just showed up at the games this weekend for whatever reason. And so the four teams in the FCF playoffs are the Board Ape Football Club, Aidoki, um, should have been stars, you know. Remember, they were the Wild Aces and Zappers. Those are the four teams in playoffs. And the other four teams, they get to go home and not have to play, you know, in the FCF anymore this year. So, there you go. And last but not least, we have the AFA, the West Texas Buccaneers, all alive. They did indeed play this weekend against the West Texas Warbirds. They missed last week against Wichita. They were supposed to play the Wichita Force last week, but that did not happen. And, you know, the Warbirds beat up on the Buccaneers 70-8. to Shouldn't, you know, these types of games should be happening in any league, you know, you know, non-league games, but they happen. And, you know, I have no idea what happened to the Texas Jets. You know, our boy, our boy, arena football statement, Dukon, our boy Dukon over at AFS, and implied something had happened to the Texas Jets, and I was trying to figure out what it was, and I genuinely, I genuinely do not know what happened. I, I, I'm we're still a mystery as of this moment as to what happened, because the Texas Jets were scheduled to play West Texas this weekend. And they did not. Wichita, the Wichita Force, on the other hand, they lost to the Queen City Insane in Asylum. That's that's not ideal. You know, I don't think you're supposed to lose that type of game. So that's the third loss for you know. It's the third semi-pro team that has beaten a you know a top-level um, arena football team. That that's that's not what you want to see right there. That's not what you want to see. Like, Wichita is already, you know, crazy enough with the things that's been going on, you know, with the force of the past two or three years, but the fact that you lost this game, sad. Real sad. So, you know, there you go. There, there, there we have it. Um, not, again, it's a lot, but it's not, you know, enough to where, you know, things are going to be crazy. Um, IFL standings are pretty crazy right now. Again, you got Arizona and, and the Naz Wranglers at the top of the West, and then Frisco at the top of the East with teams like, you know, um, and, and speaking of the East division, you know, you got you got teams like Massachusetts and, you know, Quad City and Iowa trailing behind, you know, Frisco right now, and in the West, you know, somebody is going to catch up to Naz and Arizona, and it might be Tucson and Duke City. I don't. I, I said this in the YouTube chats. I don't think Vegas is very good. I'm sorry, they're not. They're ass. You know, they're kind of ass to me. You know, we know, we know Bay Area and San Diego are also absolute garbage. Who really are prof Who really should just fold after this season? But I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I, I, y'all didn't hear me say that. Um, but yeah, that that's it. Um, We'll be back, you know, next, uh, yeah, uh, June the 4th. So, June the 4th, we'll be back with this week in indoor football and everything like that, everybody. So, I hope you all enjoyed this week, you know, I hope you enjoy the games tonight. It's going to be some good games tonight, you know, hopefully. If not, then, I mean, it is what it is. Until then, oh, we got a long weekend ahead, you know. Let's enjoy all the indoor football coming to us. And I'll see you all in a few more minutes, you know, with the NBA Finals preview.